I don't know. I mean, I know it's just an exhibition game and it's the first game of the season. Just in general, what do you think this team's strengths should be this season based on what you saw today? Um, yeah, I mean, our defense, I thought, looked pretty good. Um, we were doing a pretty good job communicating. Um, there's not too many possessions where you see um, a guy really out of place, maybe um, a back cut or something. But overall, I think our defense will be good. Um, pretty aggressive, or good, tight-knit group. Um, and also, um, I haven't looked at the three-point shots, but I know we're a better three-point shooting team than we um, showed today. Right up front. Steven, you've been talking a lot about Chris Hodges' development. What did you see from him today? Because from my perspective, he had a lot of very physical moments. His stats didn't necessarily show it, but what did you see from him? Um, yeah, I think probably just his motor today. You saw him going after every single offensive rebound he could. So I think just the motor and the physicality he played with today, and then he had a couple good finishes too. So I think those are the two big things I saw in him today. Go ahead. So you talked about getting more minutes this year and, and feeling more comfortable in an expanded role. Um, I know it's just one game, but how do you think you got off to a start, just you individually today? I think I got off to a great start. I brought the energy on defense and just try to do all the little things right, like not getting back cut, finding my teammates in the post like these two guys, and just execute. Go ahead. Uh, gentlemen, when you play a team that may not have as much as talent, as much talent as you do, how do you continue to stay optimistic in a game like this? Is that difficult? Um, no. You know, the way that we play, um, it's every possession. So whether that's we're playing Eau Claire or if we're playing a top team in the Big Ten, um, we just got to take it possession by possession and focus on what we need to do right to win the game and win that possession. Tyler Connor Sajian made his debut for the Badgers today, uh, scored 10 points in his first game. What did you see from him today? Um, he's great. You know, he's he's a great offensive player. He's moving without the ball. He's, he knows where to space out. Um, and he's also got a quick trigger. Quick trigger. You know, you saw him out there, hit a couple of threes, getting good, easy looks at the basket just from cutting. Um, he's a great offensive player, and I'm really excited for uh, what the future has to hold for him. Jordan back um, Tyler mentioned Connor moving without the ball. You had a couple, I think, three or three baskets where cuts into the lane where you got passes from your teammates for layups. You also had one at Minnesota in a key point last year in that victory. Is that something, what does that take? Is that feel for an open space, when to make that cut? How do you do that? Yeah, I mean, when the defense is like, and when we put the ball in the post and two of my passes and on the back cuts were from Tyler and Steve, and I don't know, I just like try to find like the open spot, cut into the rim, and my teammates were able to find me. Steve and Tyler mentioned that you guys are better three-point shooters than what you showed today. It's only going to get harder to get looks as the season goes on. Why do you think they weren't falling for you guys today? Um, I think just the first game, kind of getting the rust off. First time we've gone up and down and um, just getting our wind back. So I think um, we'll have a whole other week before our first game. So just staying in the gym, getting shots up after practice, before practice will be big for us. And they just like T said, they weren't falling. And hopefully later next game, that's something you can't control. But, but we can control playing hard and those little things like that. Hockey played last night too, so it was cold in there. Yeah, there you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, you have five assists today. Uh, is that kind of a part of your game you're looking to improve on and continue to do this entire season? And also, talking about the back cuts, what, what are you kind of looking at when you're looking for those people cutting and hitting those players as well? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's just the next step in uh, my role on this team. <clears throat> Being the older guy, I kind of get the ball in my hands a little more than what I'm used to, so I'm out there just trying to get my teammates involved. Um, I don't, need to be get, I don't need to be the guy that's out there shooting the ball every time, but uh, when we get the ball moving, I think we're a really fun team to watch. Um, the second part of your question, um, I just, I'm just used to keeping my eyes up. I feel like that's always been something. Um, and so when a guy's open, give him the ball in a good spot. Okay, one more question. Go ahead. Tyler, you guys were a really dominant uh, rebounding team last season. You got out rebounded by, only by one today, but still, do you think that there was something off today? It just didn't seem like you were you guys as a whole were necessarily fighting for every rebound, or was it just because it's an exhibition and it doesn't have as much weight? I guess. Um, no, that's definitely something we got to clean up, especially going into this week, game week. Um, it was our first, like, or first or second live thing, so that's definitely something that we got to clean up going into the season. Okay, thanks fellas.